You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com, YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, the film going to come out right now is called X-Men Apocalypse. That's right. This is another X-Men movie directed by Brian Singer. Let me tell you, first off, this story takes place in 1983. That means you got the younger X-Men, not the current old ones which they really phasing them out now. They're going back in time with this. Now, Papa Clips, he was a uh, Egyptian guy. People con considered him a guy back in the day when they were building pyramids and things like that. Now, the type of power that he had was that he can absorb other mutants' powers when his body was dying out and then get into a new body and absorb their body and their powers. Ah, but what happens? They go against him, you know, and they bury him in a pyramid for thousands of years. But people want to dig him up. Finally, he's dug up. He comes into 1983 after thousands of years underground and realized that mankind has changed. But he wasn't satisfied, Apocalypse, but he needed to get four of the people to help him out. I mean, he was so powerful. Why did he need all the help? But that's just a question I asked myself when I was watching this one. Now, in this, you know, Mystique, a.k.a. Raven, played by Jennifer Lawrence, Professor X, Charles Xavier, played by James McAvoy, and Beast, a.k.a. Hank McCoy, Nicholas Hulk. You know, they join, you know, together again with Nightcrawler, a.k.a. Kurt Wagner, played by Cody Smith McPhee. And Jean Grey is in this one, too. Sophie Turner, you know her, Game of Thrones. And Cyclops, Scott Summers, plays by Ty Sheridan. Well, they come in with Quicksilver. You know, he's in this, too. And also Alex Summers. Uh, he's Havoc. He's the brother of Cyclops. All, and then, you know, you got the human, you go, more, more royal. Mark Taggart, played by Rose Byrne. They all team up to get this guy. And he recruits Storm, played by Alexandra Ship. Uh, Cycli, played by Olivia Munn. Angel, Ben Hardy. And Magneto, of course, Michael Fassbender. And, you know, they get together with the guy, the villain, and try to help him conquer the humans, try to conquer the human race. But you know what happens? Come on. They're able to make another movie. Well, this is the problem that I had with this film. I really couldn't root for the X-Men because I knew what was going to happen. I mean, this guy, Papa Clips, he really wasn't, he was dangerous, yes, but he wasn't thrilling as a villain. He wasn't that smart as a villain. He he really didn't do that much. And also, the, the CG was great, but it was a little bit too much. And special effects, again, I felt it was overused. It was a little bit bloated. And, you know, they got Rose Byrne in there. I don't know why. I really don't. They could have wrote out. And like I say... A pop eclipse, he really wasn't that fun, nor was he evil enough for me. So that's why I'm only giving this two and a half palm trees. I want it more. Maybe I'm spoiled. Maybe X-Men has spoiled me now. But I wanted a little bit more. So that's why I'm only giving this two and a half palm trees out of four. It is better than average, but it's not great. At least the way I saw it. Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. Thanks for watching me. I really appreciate it.